दोन क्रोनोबेस माहिती देवज्योती सील मिनाजुद्दीन श्रींजॉय गौरव सोमल्लो वेदव्रत रोमित हिमाद्री अमन अदिति अरिजित सुमिता बाबर आदेश कुमार मिथिया स्टार्ट तो इस प्रॉब्लम रिड्यूस द following equation to canonical form and hence determine the type of the conic represented by it 4x square minus 4xy plus y square plus twice x minus 26y plus 9 equal to 0 and this problem is from 2013 and 2018 and comparing with the general equation of second degree you get the value of a b c H G F C and determine the determinant D A G H B F G F C and get the value minus six hundred twenty five which is less than zero the non singular conic and capital delta H square minus A B this is equal to zero so this is central non central conic so the given equation represents a non central non singular conic here delta equal to zero and so second degree terms in one forms a perfect square we put the equation one in the form this since delta equal to zero so this is the non-central conic so we uh, now try to this form in parabolic form this is the parabolic form we now try to this form in the parabolic form and so uh, first uh, for the second degree equation second degree terms uh, for the second degree terms is this 4x square uh, minus 4xy and this is the second degree term this is the second degree term this portion is second degree term we now try to form the square form by this second degree term uh, plus y square so so uh, so uh, we write this 2x minus y plus lambda whole square equal to this 4 lambda minus 2 into x 26 minus 2 lambda into y plus lambda square minus 9 by uh, how uh, this form is possible so write this 4 x square minus 4 x y 4 x y plus y square plus 2 x plus y square plus 2x 2x minus 26y plus 9 minus 26y plus 9 equal to 0 so this implies 4x square minus 4xy plus y square equal to minus 2x plus 26y minus 9 so uh, this term came written as this is equal to this implies 2x so this is 2x minus y here whole square because this is the 2x square 4x square 2 into 2x y 4y plus y square is equal to minus 2x plus 26y minus 9 now uh, add here with plus lambda so uh, add here with plus lambda so 2x minus y plus lambda a whole square so this is means this means extra term is here we add here extra term is this extra term is this uh, 2x minus y plus lambda whole square this means 
2x minus y whole square plus lambda square plus 2 into 2x minus y into lambda into lambda so these terms these two terms are extra term for uh, to form this uh, form so we uh, add on both sides these two terms so minus 2x plus 26y minus 9 uh, plus 2 into 2x minus y into lambda plus lambda square because this lambda square plus 2 into 2x minus y into lambda so we add this term to get this form to get this form 2x minus y plus lambda whole square so we add the extra term this in the left hand side so uh, add the same terms in the right hand side and then this equal to then this equal to collect the term of the x collect the term x y and constant so collect the term x here x is minus 2x and this is the x common take common x minus 2 and this is the 4 4 plus 4 lambda is x and collect the term y so this is the 26 26 and this is the term y this is the minus 2 lambda minus 2 lambda and this is the constant term is this lambda square lambda square lambda square minus 9 is the constant term so uh, this is the constant term now this is the form this uh, 4 lambda minus 2 26 minus 2 is lambda 26 minus 2 is lambda 4 lambda minus 2 into x 26 minus 2 is lambda into y lambda square uh, minus 9 is the constant term this so our lambda is constant in such a that in such that the state line represents by the equation this and this here uh, this is uh, this uh, from the right hand side uh, we choose lambda we choose lambda we choose lambda in such a way that choose lambda mm, such that uh, such that 2x minus y plus lambda is equal to 0 and this is this term minus 2 plus 4 lambda into x plus 26 minus 2 lambda into y plus lambda square minus 9 equal to 0 these two lines are perpendicular this this line and these lines are perpendicular are perpendicular so uh, to uh, condition you know these two lines are perpendiculars if uh, these results uh, holds this uh, so this is uh, we get the result for this perpendicular uh, first line uh, write this in the form uh, we have already deduct this condition in the previous day mm, this condition is this This is the condition x plus by plus c is equal to 0 one state line and another state line a dash x plus b dash y plus c dash equal to 0 the perpendicular if a dash plus b b dash equal to 0 so uh, in this form here a a a x plus b y plus c equal to 0 and find the uh, slope is this m1 from this slope uh, y equal to mx plus c write this and from this uh, a dash x uh, plus b dash y uh, plus c dash equal to 0 from this you get m2 by write this y is equal to uh, m1 x plus some constant c and y equal to uh, m2 x m2 x plus c some constant c then another constant c dash, c dash. so uh, then m1 and m2 uh, m1 into if, if these two lines are perpendiculars m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1 and from this condition we get a a dash a a dash plus b b dash equal to 0 this is the condition so here a is 2 so perpendicular for perpendicularity 2 into minus 2 plus 4 lambda plus here b is equal to minus 1 so minus 1 into 26 minus 2 lambda must be equal to 0 so this must be equal to 0 
and uh, you get this condition from this condition you get lambda equal to 3 so from this is equal to um, 2 2 2 minus 4 minus 4 plus 4 to 8 lambda minus 26 plus 2 lambda equal to 0 this implies a to 10 lambda equal to 26 plus 4 30 so this implies lambda equal to 3 so we determine the constant lambda so put this lambda in the equation this in the equation this uh, so we get this from lambda equal to 3 for lambda equal to 3 put this lambda equal to 3 in the equation so we get this 2 2x 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 minus y plus lambda so 2x 2x minus y plus lambda lambda 3 equal to 0 one straight line and other straight line is put the value of lambda in here so this uh, lambda equal to 3 so 4 3 12 minus 2 10 so this is 10x 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 minus 10x 10x minus uh, 26 minus 2 26 20 20 y plus 20 y 20 y and last uh, lambda square minus 3 3 3 9 3 3 9 9 minus 9 0 so this is equal to 0 the two lines obviously these two lines are perpendicular and and this implies uh, x this implies x plus 2 y equal to 0 so this straight line and this straight line is the perpendicular straight line are the perpendicular straight lines and obviously these two straight lines are perpendicular line and this straight line um, obviously this straight line are the uh, one is axis of the parabola and other is the uh, tangent at the vertex so equation by this uh, this uh, equation is this equation 2 becomes uh, putting the value of lambda 3 lambda equal to 3 equation 2 becomes this equal to this and equation 2 becomes this form this equation 3 we take the line as x dash axis so uh, we take this line as x 2x minus y plus 3 equal to x dash axis and x plus 2y as y dash axis then then uh, write this um, uh, expression in standard form so divide on the both side by uh, coefficient of x square plus coefficient of y square whole root over so this is the uh, this is the uh, x dash axis so put um, put y dash is equal to this is the x dash axis so this is the x dash axis so this is the x dash axis so distance is this this is the distance y dash and distance is the x dash so distance is perpendicular distance from the point any point uh, x y uh, to the x dash axis is y dash so this is the new x dash axis new x dash axis so distance from the any point from any point p uh, to the uh, new uh, x axis that is x dash axis is y dash so y dash is equal to 2x minus y plus 3 by root over of uh, 4 square plus 1 4 plus 1 that is equal to this this is the new um, uh, new transformation rule and x dash is the distance perpendicular distance from the new y dash axis and this x dash is equal to perpendicular distance from the new y dash axis that is x plus 2y uh, divided by root over of x square coefficient and y square coefficient is 4 and this so uh, apply uh, this um, transformation rule uh, we get using this transformation so uh, by this transformation rule we get this equal to root 5 into root 5 into y dash and from the right hand side uh, 10 into this equal to root 5 into x dash put this and we get this after simplification we get y dash square equal to uh, 10 by root 5 into x dash so uh, this is the canonical form this is the canonical form this is the canonical form standard form of the given equation mm, which is in uh, which represents a parabola uh, with let us term 4a here 4 a is equal to 10 by root 5 units and the equation of the uh, of his axi axis is the um, x axis a new x x dash axis that is y dash equal to 0 and hence y dash equal to 0 means y dash equal to 0 means twice x minus y equal to 3 equal to 0 and this is the axis of the uh, axis or uh, equation of the y axis a uh, sorry x, uh, axis axis of the uh, parabola and directrix x dash plus a and put the value of x dash and get the and uh, directrix equation of directrix and etc etc and transform the uh, origin to the uh, center minus 2 minus 1 by transformation we give an equation uh, this equal to this uh, 
and this is the another problem mm, so 2011 continued okay not this continuation of this problem so this page is missing or something else so this is the problem 2008 next problem come to the next problem like so that the equation 7x square minus 2xy 7y square equal this is equal to pencil ellipse find its center equation of axis and direct this direct this is of the ellipses so uh, comparing with this b is equal to this h is equal to negative d is equal to negative capital delta equal to negative so this is the represents the central conic so uh, this is uh, the is the equation is central conic so we have to find the uh, center alpha beta by satisfying the equation uh, del f del x equal to 0 and del f del y equal to 0 that is ax plus hy plus d is equal to 0 hx plus py plus x equal to 0 and satisfying this we get uh, x is equal to minus 3 by 2 and y equal to half so alpha and beta is equal to this and this is the center of the uh, center of the equation center of the equation center of the uh, conic center of the conic constant central conic and uh, transforming uh, uh, if you get the center then we use the transformation uh, by x is equal to x dash plus alpha and y equal to y dash plus beta and after uh, putting this uh, transformation uh, formula uh, we get uh, the equation given equation becomes a x dash square plus twice h x dash y dash plus p y dash square equal to d by capital delta is the formula so put this value of a h b and d and delta value d and delta after simplification this is equal to 12 so uh, this is the after uh, translation after translation equation 1 becomes this now we apply the rotation rotation x is equal to x double less cos theta minus y double less sin theta y dash is equal to y x double less sin theta plus y double less cos theta and put this in such a way that x dash x double less and y double less uh, vanishes then theta is given by uh, theta is equal to pi by 4 uh, since since a equal to b equal to 7 here a equal to 7 b equal to 7 if a not is equal to b then you have to put tan 2 theta is equal to 2h by a minus b this is the formula if a not is equal to b we put this formula tan 2 theta is equal to twice h by a minus b now in this case a is equal to b is equal to 7 so put theta is equal to pi by 4 and uh, after uh, using this uh, rotation formula uh, equation 3 becomes the formula capital A x double dash square plus capital B y double dash square is equal to capital D by delta is equal to 12 where capital A plus capital B is equal to small a plus small b and capital A into B is equal to a b minus h square is equal to 48 and uh, by, simplifi uh, by uh, simplification algebraic simplification you get the value of A and value of B uh, after simplification you get the value of B that is equal to a minus b whole square equal to a plus b whole square minus 4 a b and from this a plus b is equal to 14 put this and a b is equal to 48 after simplification 4 so a minus b whole square equal to 4 that is a minus b is equal to either 2 uh, or minus 2 and uh, we taking here the negative sign we taking the here the negative sign and we get a is equal to 6 b is equal to 8 uh, you may uh, take the positive sign also and then equation 5 becomes equation 5 becomes uh, 6 into x double dash square plus 8 into y double dash square equal to 12 so dividing uh, on both sides by 12 x double dash square by 2 plus y double dash square by 3 by 2 equal to 1 and this uh, represents the uh, ellipse this represents the canonical form this is the required canonical form which is the ellipse if uh, you get uh, you, you take the positive sign then a is equal to get a is equal to get 8 and b is equal to get 6 alternatively and then uh, change this here it is 3 by 2 here is 2 and so on this is the canonical form of the given equation and the axis of the ellipse is x double less equal to 0 y double less equal to 0 because this ellipse is uh, converted in x double less y double less so axis of this x double less equal to 0 y double less equal to 0 and so in the old coordinate system that is in o x x x x y system this is the uh, x double less means the x dash plus y dash equal to 0 because theta is equal to pi by 4 here uh, x dash is, this is the formula this is the formula uh, x dash in here called theta is equal to pi by 4 so put theta is equal to pi by 4 and you get the formula uh, x x dash 
plus y dash is equal to 0 and y dash this is the formula x, x double dash is equal to x dash cos theta plus y dash sin theta and uh, from this inverse formula uh, from uh, in inverse formula of the 4 is x double dash is equal to in terms of x dash y dash y dash y double, y double dash is equal to in terms of x dash y dash uh, equal to this so uh, put theta is equal to pi by 4 so you get this x double dash is equal to uh, x dash by root 2 uh, y dash by root 2 and 1 by root 2 common and so x double dash equal to 0 that is the x dash plus y dash equal to 0 and similarly y double dash equal to 0 you get the is the uh, x dash uh, minus x dash plus y dash equal to 0 and taking common minus sign you get x dash minus y dash equal to 0 y dash minus x dash minus y dash equal to 0 and x dash and y dash is given by x dash and y dash is given by uh, this uh, trans, trans, transformation translation is x dash is equal to this so x dash is equal to x dash is equal to from this uh, from this formula we get the inverse formula x dash is equal to x plus 3 by 2 and y dash is equal to y minus half so putting the values of x dash and y dash we get in this equation uh, we get this x dash and y dash we get the in terms of uh, in terms of old sys coordinate system that is x y system uh, we get the axis of the ellipse the equation of this axis of the ellipse is this and eccentricity is equal to 1 minus b square by a square root over and this is the formula next problem mm, 2014 reduce the following equation to its canonical form and determine the nature of the conic represented by it this so uh, as before comparing the given equation with the general equation of second degree uh, this capital d is equal to get minus 30 negative capital delta is equal to minus 8 negative so this is the uh, non singular central conic central conic so this is since this is a central conic we must have a center alpha beta and so we first use the uh, translation at the center as a new x new origin so formula to uh, get the center uh, ax plus uh, hy plus g a a a g and h b f so this is the x y and constant term so a into x h into y plus constant term equal to 0 h into x h into x plus b into y plus f equal to 0 this is the formula x into this a g h b f first two rows a a g h b f from these two rows we get this the result uh, you uh, have the values of a a g and h b f and putting this and solving this uh, from these two equations uh, equations to system of equations system of linear equations homogeneous linear equations we solving this x equal to something y equal to something and we say this x is say alpha and this y is say beta so the new origin uh, center is this this is the new origin center 3 minus 2 so um, we apply the translation x is equal to x dash plus alpha y is equal to y dash plus beta and we get this and inverse trans the translation is this x dash is equal to x minus 3 y dash is equal to y plus 1 and applying applying this formula in the given equation 1 we get in terms of x dash y dash new equation in terms of x plus y dash equal to this and then apply rotation to the new origin this apply the rotation x dash is equal to x double less cos theta minus y double less sin theta y dash is equal to x double less sin theta plus y double less cos theta and this we remove uh, the product term x double less uh, y double less and theta here theta uh, must be pi by 4 because here a and b are both same and when a and b equal then we must choose theta is equal to pi by 4 so and uh, apply the uh, formula uh, this uh, a x double less square plus b y double less square is equal to uh, d by delta my formula as before d is here d is uh, d by delta d is uh, 32 uh, minus 32 and delta is equal to minus 8 so this is equal to 4 d by delta so this is equal to 4 this is equal to d by delta is equal to 4 d by delta d is equal to 4 formula where capital n capital b equal to capital a plus capital b equal to small a plus small b uh, we have the values of small a and small b 3 plus 3 is equal to 6 and capital a into capital b is equal to a b minus h square this is the formula 
capital A is a plus capital B is equal to this and capital A into B is equal to A B minus H square. So put these values and after simplification A minus B whole square equal to A plus B whole square minus 4 A B. So A plus B is equal to 6, A B is equal to 8. So uh, A minus B whole square equal to 4 and that is A minus B equal to plus minus 2. Uh, taking the negative sign A minus B is equal to minus 2, we get the value uh, A is equal to 2 and B is equal to 4. And then uh, 5 equation 5 becomes A is equal to 2 and B is equal to 4. We get 2x double x square plus 4, y double x square equal to 4. And dividing on both sides by 4, you get the x double x square by 2 plus y double x square by 1 is equal to 1. And which represents an ellipse. And this is the required form, canonical form, for standard form of the given equation. And the axis is x double x equal to 0, y double x is 0, and so on. As usual procedure, I will get the um, uh, equation of the axis uh, in the old, uh, old system, original system, x plus y and x y. Next problem. Reduce the following uh, problem canonical form and find the nature of the conic. Same as before, t is equal to 36, delta is equal to this. And <coughs> find the center, minus 2, 3, apply translation. And apply translation formula x x square plus y x plus b d by delta. So uh, this is the after translation we get the equation three from equation one. Next apply the rotation, apply the rotation so that x double less y double less vanishes. Now here a and b are not equal. So in this case, in this case theta equal to tan tan to theta is equal to twice h by a minus b. So theta equal to Remember this formula since a and a not is equal to b. So remember this formula theta is equal to half tan inverse 2h by a minus b when theta not equal a not is equal to b. In here in the in uh, formula of rotation, formula of rotation here theta is given by this relation. Here uh, the value of h a and b uh, we, you know this value h is equal to minus 2, a equal to 2, b equal to minus 1. Uh, after simplification, you get half of tan inverse minus 4 by 3. So tan uh, 2 theta, tan 2 theta is equal to minus 4 by 3 and 2 tan theta by 1 minus tan square equal to minus 4 by 3. So this is equal to 6 tan theta plus minus 4 equal to minus 4 plus 4 tan theta square tan square theta. And this is the quality equation in tan theta. So tan, tan theta is equal to minus b plus minus b square minus 4 ac divided by 2a. So this, by this formula, this is the formula we get uh, this tan theta is equal to 2 and minus half. Now theta is acute angle. So theta is acute angle. Mm, acute angle means less than 90 degree and greater than 0 and less than 90 degree. So uh, for this acute angle, theta must be positive. Theta is equal to 2. Theta is equal to 2. Theta is equal to 2. So sin theta by cos theta is equal to 2. That is 2 by 1. So sin theta by 2 equal to cos theta by 2. And this is equal to root over of sin square theta plus cos theta by root over of 2 square plus 1 square. And so this is equal to 1 by root 5, hence sin theta is equal to 2 by root 5, cos theta is equal to 1 by root 5. So we calculate here theta acute angle. You take always theta is acute angle. And then sin theta cos theta, sin theta is equal to this, cos theta is equal to this. And, and the formula now this apply the uh, applying this rotation formula 4, the equation 3 becomes this. Equation 3 becomes a x double x square plus b y double x square is equal to d by delta and d by delta where capital A and capital B uh, is given by this formula a capital A plus capital B is equal to small a plus small b capital A B is equal to small a into small b minus h square and so we get uh, capital A minus whole square equal to this so a minus b is equal to plus minus 5. If we take uh, positive sign a minus b is equal to plus 5 so we get a equal to 3 and b equal to minus 2 and then equation 5 becomes equation 5 becomes 3x double x square minus 2y double x square equal to 6 and dividing on both sides by 6 and we get x double x square by 2 minus y double x square by 3 is equal to 1 and this is the required canonical form and this represents a hyperbola and eccentricity is given by this e is equal to root over 1 plus b square by a square and hence e equal to root over 5 by 2 eccentricity is given by this and this is the result uh, you can take the uh, value of a minus b is equal to minus 5 and you get this uh, change the alternative alternatively a is equal to minus 2 and b is equal to 3
next problem 2012 uh, reduce the equation this to canonical form and hence find the directrix and the vertex of the conic equipment by this and uh, this is the problem uh, do yourself this problem do yourself this is the homework this problem do yourself next 2012 uh, determine the whether the following conic is sing single center has no center has in hundred many centers this is the problem x square minus 4xy plus 4y square minus 8x plus 6y and already you have done this type this type of problem so uh, first you calculate this b delta and bg minus h f f minus h g um, these are not is equal to zero and delta delta is zero delta is zero so um, denominator of the coordinates of the center is zero and and this non zero so and the numerator product of numerators of the co coordinates is non zero so uh, this has uh, given conic has no center given conic has no center no center because this is the b delta delta equal to zero so the uh, coordinates of the center uh, with denominator zero and numerator not equal to zero because the product both are separately non zero obviously separately non zero but the denominator is zero so this is the conic has no center no center actually it is a parabola it is a parabola next problem reduce the equation this standard form and hence the find center of this industry so comparing this we get d is equal to this d is equal to 4500 delta is equal to 150 non singular central conic so you get the center alpha beta and putting this value of a a g h b f you get the cost by cost quantification you get the value of alpha and beta you get the value of alpha beta and and this continuation of this problem is previously here uh, This is the 2000 year. Continuation of this problem. This uh, page is here. Uh, here from this continuation of 2000 problem of 2011 problem. And this is the uh, transformation. This is equation on this. Uh, applying the expression. Uh, here A not is equal to B. So I apply the formula tan 2 theta is equal to pH by A minus B. And tan 2 theta is equal to this. So sin 2 theta by 24 cos 2 theta by 7. And from this taking positive sign uh, as we take uh, theta is acute angle so sine 2 theta is equal to this cos 2 theta is equal to this and uh, from this sine 2 theta is equal to this we know that cos 2 cos theta is equal to 1 plus cos 2 theta so put the value of cos 2 theta you get the cos cos theta so taking the positive sign for acute angle uh, cos theta is equal to 4 by 5 and sine theta is equal to root over 1 minus cos cos theta is 3 by 5 and so uh, you get the value of uh, cos theta and sine theta and putting this value and this formula a x double x square plus b y double x square is equal to d by delta where this is this and put this value simplification you get the result this this is the canonical form x double x square by 3 y double x square by 2 equal to 1 this is the required canonical form and which represents a hyperbola and eccentricity and hence 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 eccentricity axis and this is this Next problem 2009 2012. Problem exercise problem 4.12.6 exercise problem. So, this is the canonical form determine the type of the product by the different values of lambda and xxy is equal to this comparing this d is equal to 0 here d is equal to 0 and delta is equal to 0 so this represents singular at degenerate conic so apply the rotation first apply the rotation first and this applying the rotation first given equation um, becomes um, this collect the term x dash x dash square x dash y dash y dash square 
x dash, y dash, and constant. To remove the term x dash, y dash, so this coefficient of x dash, y dash must be 0. Coefficient of must be 0. From this relation, you get sine 2 theta cos 2 theta is equal to 3 by 5, sine 2 is equal to 4 by 5, cos 2 theta is equal to 3 by 5. And cos 2 theta is equal to 3 by 5. Now 2 cos cos theta is equal to 1 plus 1 plus cos 2 theta. Sorry, this is the mistake. And uh, this is the mistake. And this is the cos 2 theta. This is the cos 2 theta. Uh, so the cos 2 theta so this is equal to 1 plus 3 by 5. This is equal to 8 by 5. And cos cos theta is equal to this. And taking the positive sign, this theta is acute angle. So cos theta is equal to 2 by root 5. Sin theta is equal to 1 by root 5. And then uh, applying this cos theta value of cos theta and sin theta uh, here put this in the equation 3 put the sin theta and cos theta to uh, get the uh, equation this type of equation this and this is the 5 x dash square plus 2 root 5 x dash plus lambda is equal to 0 or um, or this is the in the whole square form uh, x dash uh, plus 1 by root 5 whole square equal to 1 minus lambda by a and lambda by a now shifting the origin uh, shifting the origin here uh, if you put x double dash is equal to x dash plus 1 by root 5 so this is equal to uh, x dash is equal to x double dash is equal to x dash plus root 5 this will put this x double dash square is equal to uh, equal to 1 minus lambda by 5 this, this is the term here from so lastly we apply the uh, first we apply rotation and next we apply the trans, trans, translation by this formula translation formula this translation formula and here x dash is equal to this and y dash is equal to y dash y double dash uh, here and the uh, three different cases as before so lambda is equal to when lambda is equal to one so x double s square is equal to zero represents a pair of coincident straight line lambda negative when lambda is less than one so one minus lambda is five greater than zero and you get the result this and represents the pair of distinct parallel straight lines and when lambda is greater than one 1 minus lambda 5 negative. So, this is the reference no geometric locus x double s square plus c square equal to 0. No geometric locus. Next problem so that the equation a square plus b square into x plus square y dash square is equal to ax plus by minus ab whole square represents a parabola of let us like term 2 into mod of ab by root over of a square plus b square units. The given conic. Now, this is the given conic. This is the given conic. This is the given conic. Given conic, uh, we uh, after multiplication and simplification, uh, we get this equation. After simplification, we get this equation this form bx minus ay whole square is equal to minus twice ab bracket start ax plus by minus ab by 2 bracket close and this by uh, after uh, to form the standard form bx minus a y whole square uh, by divided by root over of b square plus b square coefficient of x square plus coefficient of y square whole 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 root over and dividing on both sides by this uh, so we get this result now we put this equal to capital y this equal to capital y and this equal to capital x so equation one becomes equals to one y capital y square uh, equal to minus twice a b by root over of x square plus b square this equal to capital X. So, uh, this is the uh, canonical form, uh, canonical form this is equal to y capital Y square uh, by equal to minus twice AB by root over A square is equal to capital X, which is a parabola with lattice term, with lattice term, lattice term 2AB by uh, this uh, big, uh, twice, AB. lattice term is 4A when y square equal to 4X. So, here this this negative sign is equal to the sign and this is the uh, let us term this is the length length so uh, let us term when uh, this is letter different this is the y square equal to minus 4x y square equal to minus 4x minus 4x but let us term is 4a let us term is 4a so here use the mod sign modular sign so 2 mod of ab by root of y square plus b square units this is the length of let us term Reduce the equation this to canonical form. Determine the type of the conic represented by it for different values of k. Here k is constant. K is constant for different values of k, you get the different types of conic. So here d is equal to 0, singular conic, delta is equal to 0, non-central conic. So this is degenerate conic. Now the given equation 
can be written as written as written as in this form in this form whole square form so first uh, target this second second uh, order term and and the uh, first order term first um, uh, go to first order term to the next ne right hand side and second uh, order term in the left hand side and then try to the second order term in whole square form in whole square form and then add uh, k or lambda and you get this form this taking this equal to 0 as y axis and any line perpendicular to x axis we see that perpendicular distance any point is equal to this so x is equal to this and x dash square is equal to k minus 1 by 5 so this is the uh, this is equal to k minus 1 so put this this is the capital x capital x is equal to this put this substitution this capital x equal to this so the equation 2 becomes capital x plus square plus k minus 1 by 5 equal to 0 if k is equal to 1 so x double dash square equal to 0 a sorry x x dash square capital x square equal to 0 represents a pair of coincident straight line if k is equal to less than k k less than 1 x x this k less than 1 k is less than 1 then this 1 minus k by 5 is greater than 0 so x square is equal to d so it represents a pair of distinct parallel straight line 1 minus k because, because it is equal to this then uh, x dash square equal to 1 minus k by 5 1 minus k by 5 if k is negative so 1 minus k by 5 is positive so distinct pair of parallel straight line if k is greater than 1 k is greater than 1 so uh, right hand side is negative so right hand side is negative so x dash is capital x dash, capital x square is equal to minus c and who hence no geometric locus Find the values of H, F, C for which the equation we will represent a pair of coincident lines. For these values of H, F, C, find the equation of the coincident lines. And comparing this equation and this D is equal to this, D is equal to this, uh, and delta is equal to this, H is common for this. So, uh, this D is equal to this. Yeah. We will represent a pair of coincident straight lines. It is given. The values of HFC in such a way that given equation becomes a pair of constant straight lines. So, for pair of constant straight lines, so D must be 0 and delta must be 0. So, D must be 0 when, uh, but this is the relation is this, and delta must be 0. So, from this relation, H is equal to plus minus 12. Then, using the value of plus minus 12, value of H, H putting the value of H, we get the result this, D becomes this. So, this is the uh, quadratic equation in F, quadratic in F and, and uh, solving this F is equal to plus minus 6 and taking the uh, positive sign, positive sign uh, take H is equal to plus 12 and F is equal to uh, plus 6 to get positive sign and this equation becomes and this form and simplification uh, adding the key in whole, whole square term and you get this term is this. For coincident straight lines, right hand side must be 0 right hand side must be 0 so for this uh, the coefficient of x coefficient of y and constant term separately 0 so constant straight line because this something is equal to say something this some capital x square equal to 0 so this is a constant straight line constant straight lines so uh, for constant straight lines this x equal to 0 and x equal to 0 this x equal to 0 and x equal to 0 two constant straight lines but if x square equal to some constant c or some this some a square so two separate intersecting straight line or uh, no geometric equals and so on and so on so only for coincident straight line right hand side must be zero so for right hand side must be zero uh, you must have the uh, coefficient of x coefficient of y and constant term k square c must be separately zero and from this the value of k is one and this c is equal to one and then uh, the equation above equation becomes 2x minus plus minus 6y plus 1 whole square equal to 0 or h is equal to plus minus 12, f is equal to plus minus 6 and c is equal to 1 which is the pair of constant straight lines. And reduce the canonical form, type of the conic represented by this and so on vanish sin theta, cos theta, put this value and next apply the translation by this formula and get the result 
finally you get the result canonical form y double dash square equal to 0 and which represents which represents a pair of coincident straight lines y equal to 0 y y double dash y double dash 0 y double dash 0 last problem no last one reduce the equation this to canonical form so that it represents uh, an ellipse of area pi c by root over of mod a b minus 1 by reduce this equation first write this equation given equation where c is positive quantity comparing the given equation uh, comparing with the general canonical general um, second order equation uh, this a, 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 we, we, we use here a dash h dash b dash g dash f dash c dash because uh, already uh, we are given equation uh, here the notation a b a b c so um, differentiate this uh, given uh, notation we use here a dash h dash b dash g dash and f dash and c dash so a dash is equal to this b dash is equal to this h dash is equal to this and c dash is equal to this so capital d is equal to a dash h dash g dash h dash b dash f dash g dash f dash h dash and uh, putting this value uh, we get this result and taking the minus c common a square minus to b square minus twice a b plus uh, one and so this is the whole square term so c is positive term so this negative sign uh, represents that d must be negative so this is the non-singular comment and delta is equal to this form uh, uh, re this form and multiply and simplification you get minus a b minus one whole square negative so this is the central conic we here assume that a b minus one not is equal to zero the given equation is a central non-singular conic so alpha beta is the if center so uh, you may put the result in the a square plus one alpha plus a b plus beta is equal to zero so here a a a dash h dash b dash a dash a, a dash means eta this uh, a square plus one into x b dash means b square into eta this and g dash equal to zero so here yeah, equation this uh, this alpha plus this beta equal to zero and this same uh, h dash b dash f dash h dash x plus b dash y plus f dash equal to 0 because here f dash 0 so term is this and since uh, this is the uh, linear homogeneous uh, system um, and this system uh, coefficient determinant a square plus 1 a plus b a plus b b square plus 1 coefficient determinant and not is equal to 0 hence this homogeneous system has a unique solution a unique zero solution this is the homogeneous system because the left hand side is zero so this is the homogeneous system has unique zero solution only solution in zero solution that is alpha must be zero and beta must be zero and uh, or r square equal to three and minus two put this alpha equal to zero and beta equal to zero alpha equal to zero and beta. so the center is center is center is center is zero zero so we do not apply the translation because center is same so only only we here apply the rotation we apply rotation and this is the formula x is equal to x double less cos theta minus uh, y double less sin theta y equal to x double less sin theta plus y double less cos theta such that product term uh, a, a dash not is equal to b dash so theta is equal to this formula and formula apply putting this formula and a double less a, a capital a x dash and this capital a plus b equal to this capital a into b into this so you get the result and this is the required canonical form yeah. which depends on ellipse if capital A, capital B, and capital C greater than 0. And the area of the ellipse we know area of the ellipse is pi pi uh, A into B pi A into B pi uh, A uh, A if, if x square by a square plus y square by b square then pi a b is the area so this is the here a is the is a square means root over of c by a root over c by b is the formula so capital a b into a capital a b here capital a b means capital a b means a b minus one and whole square here capital a b means this so this is the result the area we know the result is x square by a square plus y square b is equal to one then area is pi a b square is it and last problem is this uh, this is problem.